Dana told me he would need me to fight again at the end of February. I told him what funny bitch he wants in February. Rousey versus McMahon. That's the headliner. She goes right back into camp. I'm in the best shape of my life now, so I think it'd be perfect time to just go back to back. We're both undefeated Olympic medalists, and that's never happened for UFC championship. Never in the history of mixed martial arts have two Olympic medalists squared off inside the octagon. It's going to be an exciting fight. You can't not have an exciting fight. There is an energy like never seen or heard before. Just one year after Dana White famously said we'd never see women in the UFC, he relented. And that's because of Ronda Rousey. She is the ultimate package. She is an incredible athlete. It was apparent after one fight that she was the biggest superstar in the UFC. Ronda is very, very driven. One of the most driven fighters that I've ever seen in the sport. I hate having to meet people's expectations. I love proving them wrong. If you doubt me, that motivates me more than anything. Once again, Arthur finished for the champion. UFC 168, Ronda was far more well-rounded than we see in the past. Her striking game has improved dramatically. I know that a lot of the girls have this idea that if they get me out of the first round, I'm gonna break. And I just wanted to look better and better and better with every round, because that's how I fight. My first round's actually my worst one. I also wanted to prove that I could go multiple rounds and that I could fight standing. She tried to do a lot more things that she hadn't done before in the striking aspect. She used her natural instincts that helped her get as far as she did in judo very well. She's still the best female fighter in the world. She proved it that night. Oh, my goodness. And again, Ronda with that judo. The judo techniques that we saw in the fight with Misha Tate were on a level that we haven't seen in years in the UFC. Ronda's judo is one of the deadliest weapons in all of mixed martial arts. She can also work off her back with triangles and things of that nature. Her all-around game is just sick. She could strike, she could grapple, she could wrestle, she could use her judo. She's ready to do everything. I adapt within the fight. A lot of fighters don't have that ability. Unbelievable! Ronda Rousey is engaging. She's enthralling. She's supremely confident in her own skin. Rowdy! Ronda! When she entered the UFC at UFC 157 against Liz Carmouche, she was cordial, she was polite. She was everything you would want from a champion. With the Carmouche fight, there was a lot to prove. It was a big experiment to take the women on. That card had to do well. Going into the Ultimate Fighter, Ronda was very, very popular with the fans. And over the course of the season, as it played out on television, uh, that kind of changed. I like being the heel. My entire career it was either people absolutely loved me or they couldn't stand me but at least they had a very passionate opinion about me. I think she is thriving a little bit on the controversy. She needs something to drive her. She needs something to help her come to the next level. And I think a little bit of that hatred and animosity that we're seeing actually fuels her to be better. Being a polarizing figure makes it more personal for the fans and more exciting for everybody. If anybody is gonna counteract Ronda's judo, it's gonna be Sarah and her wrestling. Sarah McMahon comes out storming. Judo versus wrestling has long been an interesting stylistic matchup in mixed martial arts. Everything that I've been training to do has helped me naturally do the things that make it difficult for her to get her offense going. The UFC chose Sarah to fight Ronda because they know that she has the tools to beat Ronda. Wrestling is kind of the kryptonite for a lot of things. It seems to be a very tough matchup when you go against a wrestler. Sarah McMahon inside control. Sarah McMahon is a former Olympic silver medalist, one of the best female wrestlers America has ever seen. Sarah McMahon is definitely the most accomplished wrestler in women's MMA. Sarah is very strong, and I think her wrestling would overcome Ronda's judo. It took her all of five seconds to go out there, shoot on Sheila Gaff and put her on her butt, and finish her within the first round. We've been working on, obviously, the armbar defenses. What are all the things that somebody needs to do a tight, proper armbar in the ways that she likes to set them up. And then you stop them at every single point along the way. It's not the arm bar itself. It's the entries for it. You could know every single defense. I've seen all of them before you have. Throw defense and controlling the ties is something that I've done for 17 years. So that one is a lot easier. There's no way that Ronda Rousey goes in there and throws Sarah McMahon around like she has everybody else. Sarah McMahon might be the one to unseat Ronda Rousey. Oh, looking to finish it right here. And it is all over. In every fight, people say that this person's going to be the one. 
I'm just gonna keep supporting them. The excitement of two people coming together that are undefeated is that both fully expect to win. That type of fight is gonna be close and it's gonna be hard and it's gonna come down to who wants it more. This is an incredible fight. The reaction to women's MMA thus far in the UFC has been incredible. It's amazing the level that these competitors come in every fight. These are more often than not the best fights on the card, the most exciting, the most entertaining. I think maybe they feel like they have more to prove because they're so new. Women go out there and they deliver every single time. This is a gigantic cultural moment, Mike. I'm gonna come in there, guns blazing with everything that I have, and that literally, I will never ever stop until I get what I want. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm still gonna beat her. Daniel Cormier is dropping to 205 pounds to face Rashad Evans, former light heavyweight champion. Both Daniel Cormier and Rashad Evans have an opportunity to put themselves into a title fight with an impressive performance here. And so this is a big fight for both guys. I met Rashad in college because we wrestled a dual meet against Michigan State. And we've just been real cool since then. This is actually like a, a mentor situation. And I'm happy that he's made it. I'm happy that he's got to the level that he's fighting me. This guy's been one of the best for a long time. He's a guy that's going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame for winning the Ultimate Fighter, being the UFC champion. Rashad Evans! Wow! Daniel Cormier, one of the most accomplished wrestlers in all of mixed martial arts, a two-time Olympian, one of the best wrestlers in all of the sport. Daniel Cormier can go in there and control anybody that he wants to control. There's nobody in that division that can stop his wrestling. Nobody. My wrestling advantage is the biggest difference in this entire fight. He's got this Olympic level wrestling and these credentials and these accolades. I am a competitive person, man. People don't understand the extent to which I would go to try and win a fight. Every single fight he goes in there, he improves. It's actually quite startling to see how quickly he's taken the striking game to heart. Daniel Cormier coming down to 205 pounds, does his game translate well, dealing with a different size of opponents, a different speed of opponents? I think my chance to be the champion is at 205. Now I'm gonna fight at a weight that's more natural for my body, and obviously I've done well because they're giving me a former champion in my first time down. He's always been an undersized heavyweight. Daniel Cormier was a light heavyweight in a heavyweight's body, fighting guys who were much bigger than him. More so than anything, he just doesn't want to fight his teammate, Cain Velasquez. Those guys are like brothers. I don't want to fight Cain. I think a lot of my success is directly because of him, because every day, if I didn't get better, he would just mow right through me. Rashad Evans is injured, and we thought the fight would be canceled. Yeah, I actually did cancel the fight. And I hear about this kid, Cummins. He was a walk-on at Penn State, and he ended up becoming a two-time All-American, went to the World Championships, and claims that when he would train with Cormier, he would make Cormier cry, and that he, quote, unquote, broke him. So I said, this is interesting. The kid's undefeated. All of his fights are finishes. He's never gone to a decision. And I said, is this true about Cormier? And do you want this fight? He says, it's absolutely true. I broke him every time we wrestled. And I promise you, I will break him next Saturday night. And I will beat him. And I said, interesting. You're going to the UFC. I know all Daniel's weaknesses. I know that I can push him, and he will break. You need to be careful what you're saying, but things that happen in that wrestling room stay in the wrestling room. So not only have you crossed the line, you've completely put yourself in my crosshairs. You're a guy that I got to go into that octagon, and you're going to suffer for your words. How much is Trunk there from Cummins? I've been devoting my life to this, with this one goal in mind, to be the best 205er in the world. I'm going to be in his face from the start and just push the pace and look for a finish the entire time. And he's going to be like, oh, no. What have I done? You are completely in over your head, Patrick Cummins. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? MMA is crazy. Anything can happen. We'll find out next Saturday night. Two undefeated fighters. Two unbeaten. And Olympic medalists. That is really impressive. Will battle for UFC gold. Ronda Rousey is so good. She is the greatest women's fighter in the world. Sarah McMahon comes out stormy. UFC superstar Ronda Rousey versus undefeated challenger Sarah McMahon. For the UFC Women's Bantamweight Belt.